Welcome to the Elementor Pro. I'm Jared, and today we are going to add text over the top of an image. So there's a few things that we need to do here in Elementor. This is a fairly basic tutorial, but adding text over the top of an image sometimes requires some tweaking, and so we're gonna look at some of the intricacies there. Uh, but what we have here is a simple page that I've used in a few other tutorials on this channel. So if, you, if this is your first video, you definitely wanna click subscribe and check out some of the other tutorials. We're releasing three tutorials a week on this channel, so make sure to click subscribe and uh, like this video, and come back and see some other ones after you get done with this one. So we're in the page editor here, Elementor. Uh, we've got this section here with a background image and we wanna add text over it. So we can't add text over an image like this. This is an image block and with an image element block here, we can't add text. If I go and grab the text editor and try to drag it on top, it's not gonna work. It's gonna put it above or below this section and I don't want that above this uh, this element in this column. I want text over the top of something. So in order to do that we actually have to put the image in the background of the section. And I've talked about how to do that in another video, how to use an image as a background. So we're just really quickly going to go through this. When you have your section selected, so click right here to get to your section, go to style, you're going to click on classic and make sure to upload an image. You can set it to centered, set it to no repeat, set it to cover so it fits in here nicely. If your image is displaying super tiny like it would in this instance, no space there, can't even see the image. Change uh, the, the from default, change the height from default to minimum height, and then go ahead and set a height such as like 450. So now with that said, we have a column here in the middle of this section. And in this column, we can add items on top of the image. So for example, if we wanted to add a heading, we can drag a heading in there. I could then center it and maybe make it white so it stands out a little bit more. And then I can look at it and say, okay, you know, the heading's there, but maybe it doesn't, it doesn't pop out from the background enough, the background image, because the background image has text. So maybe I'm looking at the background image and trying to decide if the background overlay should be a little bit darker so that the text pops a little bit more. Um, I could also consider going into the heading itself. So I'm gonna go back into the heading and under style, I can go with text shadow and add a little bit of a text shadow. So I'd wanna make sure that I had a color chosen here that I set a little bit of vertical and horizontal offset so that the shadow pops out like a drop shadow. Um, and then it's kind of hard to see right now, but uh, as I slide the opacity slider back and forth to make that shadow darker or lighter, you could start to see the difference there. Um, and this text definitely pops out from the background a lot more. Uh, so also consider the color of your text as well when you are putting text over the top of an image, what color is gonna make it appear best. And often for me, if it's a darker background image, I'm gonna use white text. If it's a very bright, uh, like light background image, I would probably use darker text um, or add a background overlay to darken that background image so that I could still use lighter text. Now you're not just limited to a heading. We can also go and throw in a text editor here. You can see my text by default is not the right color. So I'd wanna go under style and probably center this and then change that color to white. And now we've got white text in there. If that text is maybe too small because this is kind of a hero section, I can change the size of that text, um, you know, maybe to 20 pixels instead. And if I don't want it going all the way to the edges like that, I can do a couple of things. I can either go into the content here and just add a line break like that, and that would work fine. Alternatively, besides just entering a line break, I can shrink down the overall size of the content width within the section. So with the section selected here, I can go over to width and I can make the width a certain size. So you can see here if I go over you know, 620, it doesn't change anything, but as I go down, it starts to shrink that down and make it smaller. And uh, I believe the smallest that I can go with this configuration is 500. 
So there's two different ways that you can change the overall width if you wanted to constrain the width of the column within this section. So I can also add a button on top of this as well just to take it to the next level since uh, we were just talking about how to add text and now we're adding all sorts of stuff to the top of this image making it a nice looking uh, hero section. So with a button there, some text and a heading, I can update the page and then go ahead and hit refresh and we can see that I have a nice section now with a background image with uh, this is a good welcome for our website. It's a good call to action to take people on the next step in our website. So this is how you add stuff over the top of an image in Elementor, whether it be text, buttons, or other elements. Uh, it definitely makes for a nice looking website when you utilize background images and foreground content. So like I said before, subscribe to the channel here. We've got lots of Elementor tutorials coming out all the time. I have my free Elementor course uh, that is available and Elementor resources linked down in the description below. So you definitely want to check that out uh, and make sure to subscribe. Like I said, hit that bell notification so that you get notified when I put out new tutorials. My goal here is to turn you into an Elementor Pro as well. We also have a newsletter now that you can sign up for and you will get notified via email when new videos come out, new resources and all of that good stuff as well. So we want to be that source for you to help you stay on top of your web page building and element tour. So subscribe and I appreciate it. But until next time, I hope all is well and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.